616 this morning. It's paint on port week and artists are beginning to make the final touches on their murals. Sarah McGrew talked to one woman who came from North Carolina to take part in the artist event. Around every corner, a pop of color is finding its way onto Port Washington walls. Art can connect the community in a really cool way. So we wanted to use public art in that way, and we also wanted to add vibrancy downtown. It's paint on Port Week. The event has brought together artists locally and from around the country, painting four different murals simultaneously over 10 days. I love, especially love projects where other artists are involved just because you make new art friends and get to support each other's work and it's super cool. Britt Flood is a painter from North Carolina. Her mural is taking shape on the corner of Grand and Franklin. I'm a figure painter turned mural artist, um, so I love painting people, so I always try to include kind of hints of facial features within each piece. And although she's from North Carolina, she drew inspiration locally, including from the sports fisherman display featuring rainbow trout in her mural. In this piece, we have kind of an abstract silhouette of two lovers facing each other. Um, and within each of their heads or minds are just filled with like an ode to the water, Lake Michigan, native fish. Um, I had a few other species of fish in there at first, and then we were like, you know what, let's really reel this in, no pun intended, to um, really kind of highlight specific fish that are here. Wisconsin is the 11th state she's made her mark in. My goal is to provide people just kind of a moment um, of daydreaming throughout their day, kind of a stop in their commute or break up in their day. And she hopes to do that in all 50 states. So a slow start, but um, we're getting there. So yeah, it's a fun goal to have. Mirrorless will be wrapping up their work on Friday, so it'd be a perfect weekend to head up to port and enjoy some art. Reporting in Port Washington, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.